Welcome to Privacy Reimagined, where tech meets trust. We're diving into ZKKYC, a breakthrough in identity verification without um, exposing all your personal documents. That's fascinating. So you're telling me you can prove you're over 18 or even a citizen without uploading a PAN card or passport? Yep, exactly. Yeah, it's um, pretty radical. The system lets you prove credentials right from your own phone, and your data doesn't leave your device. Mm -hmm. That's efficient. So essentially, no more handing over sensitive documents to third-party verifiers. Right, it's all about zero knowledge. The proof information is completely detached from the actual data, meaning the verifier just gets confirmation, not the details. Yeah, I get it. But um, don't you think there's a risk here? I mean, what if someone challenges the integrity of an identity claim without seeing the actual documents? Well, that's a fair point, but the system um, logs the entire process, so there's a traceable, auditable record. Right, so it's like having a digital receipt for your credentials. Exactly, and by not requiring document uploads, it minimizes points of vulnerability. It's not just about bypassing document scans, it's programmable trust at work. Absolutely. Programmable trust. That's a whole new paradigm. Now, I heard it ties into the concept of self-sovereign identity, correct? Uh, yeah, that's the vision. It's like um, you're building towards a future where your identity is entirely under your control, one valid proof at a time. Mm -hmm, that sounds empowering. In fact, think of it as you're like the keeper of your own keys. No need to share the master copy with everyone you interact with. Exactly. Like having a secret recipe that only confirms your credentials. That's a, that's a neat analogy. Still, don't you think there's a trade-off? I mean, while it's super secure, is the end user, say, technically savvy enough to understand how to handle this responsibility? That's a valid critique. The onboarding and education of users become um, super important. But as these systems mature, I believe intuitive design will ease the learning curve. Mm -hmm, I hope so. It's all about creating a user-friendly experience. Exactly. And the fact that this approach keeps your data right on your phone means you're in control versus risking central databases. Yeah, that's the future of privacy reimagined. So in essence, ZKYC is not just about knowing your customer, but more importantly, about redefining trust in the digital age, right? Absolutely. It's building a bridge towards a self-sovereign identity framework. One proof, one secure step at a time. Right on. That sounds like a game changer. And as we wrap up, remember that while it's um, revolutionary technology, it's also a call for more transparent, secure, and user-empowered processes in identity verification. Yep, staying verified and staying private is the key. Thanks for this insightful dive into ZKKYC. It's definitely got me thinking about how our digital identities will evolve. Thanks for joining the conversation. Follow our journey on X, Telegram, or JupyterMeta.io. Stay verified, stay private.